Welcome back everybody to AM Reviews. It's Muhammad and Adrian, and we're here to review the film Nobody. Essentially, this movie is about this guy who's kind of stuck in the hamster wheel of life, and all of a sudden he is in the middle of a home invasion. And as soon as he's about to actually beat up the robbers, he stops and loses all his dignity within his family and at work. But this sets him on the path to get it back. But what did you get from Nobody? I enjoyed Nobody in the middle, I think, and in the very end. I found most of it to be pretty boring, honestly. Um, <laughs> and, and because there's nothing too major. I mean, we've heard this story before. Um, you know, I'm out of the game. I'm retired. I want a normal life. The game calls him back in. You know, he reverts to his old ways, gets in a little trouble, and kills everybody in the end. And that's what happens. So, I mean, it's a pretty predictable story. Um, I liked how it was told. There were, you know, the narration's pretty interesting. Um, I think the funniest part was the kitty cat bracelet. Um, when he's asking the guy, where is the bracelet? <laughs> he's like, Very oh, pivotal. That was a pivotal moment. That's when he snapped. He, and his, when they got that home invasion and the bracelet went missing, that's the last straw. That's my daughter's bracelet. And um, so it was pretty, that was pretty funny. It had some comedy in it. Um, my favorite character was the grandfather or the main character's father, um, Christopher Lloyd playing David Manziel. I just thought it, I thought it was pretty funny. You know, he's ready for anything, ready to go. Yeah, Nobody is a film for pretty much nobody. Even though, I mean, I did, <laughs> I did enjoy it. Um, it's an action-packed film. It, yeah. I mean, the, the story is pretty simple. Nothing that's too complex. There's a guy who, you know, is tired of living this regular life. You know, just wash, rinse, and repeat. And then... You know, something happens and he goes off. But um, the best thing about this film that I liked was the kind of fighting that they had where it didn't seem like he was just destroying everybody, even though he kind of did. <laughs> he <laughs> he still got some marks on himself. Like he actually still got beat up. I see what you're saying. He, he had some moments where he was down and, and took a minute to get back up and he got some licks in and some bruises as well yeah he, he definitely got beat up i mean he is it's not one of those films where the guys just shoot, shoot at the ground and not the actual person um and he takes a lot of hits but he's able to get back up and keep going but um it's a pretty um i wouldn't say it's well you can't say it's average i mean it's really nothing special. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's it's interesting, but I think you've seen this before. It's a yeah. mix of Taken and John Wick and just a whole bunch of fighting and shooting and some kung fu moves here and there. But um, <laughs> just straight action for the most part. Which is nice. We didn't need too much story. I don't know if I would have wanted more, honestly. I think it did a good job. We didn't have a bunch of random old uh, action stars make guest appearances. Like sometimes that happens. You think about the Expendables and stuff like that. Random Sylvester Stallone or Terry Crews from out of nowhere as a sidekick. Like that was it. We didn't have that. So that was um, good, I guess. That was different. Um, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing spectacular. Yeah, nothing spectacular. I, I think people can really enjoy this film, but as soon as you stop watching it, nobody's going to remember this. I actually kind of forgot some of it. I was just like, huh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I enjoyed it, but I mean, it was yeah. nothing special. I, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's a movie um, <laughs> that you can, in fact, watch. But... Um, I, I don't expect any awards out of this. Um, it was Amazon Prime, right? No, no. You rent on Amazon Prime. That's what I saw. It was in the theaters. That's new now. You know, that new normal. Um, 
I'm not used to things being in theaters and optional on the streaming services. It's been the other way around for like a year now. So that's different. But I think this film, I mean, if anything, is a part of that coming back to theaters. It is, it's, I feel like there's always one of these playing at some point um, in the theaters, right? There's always some random action thriller rated R. Um, maybe you saw the commercials, maybe you came for it, maybe you just saw it um, as you're walking by, but you thought you'd watch it. I'll say there's no real flaws with it. I think it's written pretty well. There were no parts I was like, that's unbelievable, or no way that would happen. I think that was, it was pretty well put together. Um, yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's pretty simple. There's not much that kind of throws you off course. Um, I mean, basically, there's a robbery that happens that that happens to the main character. And then he, he finally realizes, hey, I need to go back to my old ways. And he's set on this path. Now, I feel like if he would have just done something else, like looked a little harder. Yeah. Most of this movie would not have happened. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to be featured on our podcast, make sure to click the link in the description.